Hey everybody, 12 Gauge Sage here. I got a quick episode of Elite Dangerous. We are ferrying some cargo out and about here for the day. And uh, we're going to have some fun because it's a short run, high value cargo. And maybe this will be that opportunity for you to see that blood of mine. I don't know, we'll see. Probably. If not, well, you may never see this one because I'm determined to get into some combat or run. I don't know. I like combat, but I do like evading them as well. I'm a mixed bag about either one. Pretty good at a little bit, pretty good at the other one, but we'll see what happens. Woo! Okay, Mr. Sun is out there. He's light and bright. Let's, uh, let us pop to our menu here and uh, see about getting some destination locked in before somebody attacks us. That's always the worst whenever you try to do that. Oh man, it is a ways away. Somebody's definitely gonna try to hand it to us before we get there. But uh, yeah, let's give this a run. See about maximum speed here. Today is Father's Day. I want to say a shout out to all those fathers out there. And uh, father myself. Two great sons. Men now. They'll always be my boys. Out and about tackling the world on their own, but they still come home to mom and dad. So I unfortunately, my father has passed. However, interesting fact here, my father slowed down. Why would I slow down? It's so far away. No way, I'm gonna run it. Somebody's gonna interdict me in a second. My father, when I was a kid, we had a uh, an old school um, in fact, our first gaming system was an Atari, Atari 2600, and uh, we had an old, uh, also to uh, a Commodore 64, and um, a VIC-20. We never had a TI, but um, but we had those, and, and I distinctly remember because my dad was an old school gamer. And uh, he he played game. I mean, he in the back in those days for like the Commodore 64 and stuff like that. There were very few actual games, but you could get gaming magazines, right? And they would have programs in it that you would have to physically write, type in to the Commodore. And it was odd characters it was uh semicolons colons and and parentheses and if then tons of that stuff and you would have to enter that in line by line by line by line. literally thousands of lines and if even one was wrong the game would glitch up crash but he loved it and he did that and then whenever we got I remember our first Atari, it was broken, but my dad was also an electrician. So he wired it up. So imagine if you will, you know the little black box, that's the transformer on a lot of modern electronics. That transformer transforms the 120 volt that's in everybody's wall, uh, or 110 if you will, 110, 115, 120, it's common voltage. Um, it transforms that into video game voltage, like 12 volt, 24 volt, and what, whatever it is. It transforms wall voltage into that. Well, ours, that's the part that had broken on the Atari. So, we had this big, like, oh, I don't know. It was, it was probably six inches by six inch <laughs> silver steel box. That was our transformer wired up there but it worked it all worked and then when we got the Nintendo Entertainment System my father was a big fan of Zelda 
and ironically enough, so is my father-in-law. His he loved Zelda, but uh, my my dad loved Zelda, Dragon Warrior. Um, man, those are the only two I can remember him playing. But he would push me off the video game machine, so he'd have his time. So I come from a long line of gamers, it seems. A long line but you know I guess I carry the tradition forward because both my sons love games and uh, occasionally I hope you get them on here to play games with me my wife plays games so it's well well met but um it's a lot of fun and on days like today playing games like this my father would have loved this game it's a good homage so to all you dads out there, play with your sons. Get interested in the things that they like. It'll mean more to them than you could ever think it would. Anyways, I'm really surprised I haven't been attacked. <laughs> I'm ferrying some stuff to this station. Um, man, I don't know. It's been a good trip so far, but I'm really surprised, like I said, that I haven't gotten attacked so far. Slow down. Yeah, I'm gonna overshoot it. I'm so gonna overshoot. In my attempt to come in as fast as possible to not get got, to get got. because this is the one that's going to get me over the five million mark and I was very excited to share that with y'all because now we're going to shop around and maybe even the next time you see we are going to uh, we're going to have a new ship and we are going to outfit it and we are going to go on an epic journey so I hear my wife <laughs> so we're going to finish this up And safe disengage. Might be a little close. Nope. Let's uh, go ahead and say hi to the station. Wonder why target lock is always on there. Okay, where am I coming in? Is that one or that one down there is one? I think this one's one. It's too far away for me to see. That does that looks like a two. say two so here we will swing this rig around lots of fun here Slowly bring her about. Try to make it look cool, like it's intentional. We'll reduce speed. Shift. Lower and landing gear.
Like a glove, huh? Yeah. How about that? I can sometimes land well, but we'll see. Okay, let's refuel and let's get paid. Alright. Yay. There. We're there. Sweet, huh? Alright, y'all. Once again, this is 12 Gauge Sage. If you like what you see, hit that like button. I really could use your support. And uh, if not, well, I appreciate you watching at least this far. And um, y'all have a great day. Hit that subscribe if you feel like you want to see more. I always try to put more stuff out there. And uh, have a great day. And happy Father's Day to everyone out there. Um, just have a great day. I'll see y'all later. Try not to die.